What's up, everybody, and welcome back to more Millionaire, and, uh, yeah, so as you can probably tell, oh, actually, maybe not, but uh, a few things I did do off-camera are quite nice, uh, such as, like, what the hell is this? So, I did install this new mod called the Chunk Loader mod, and basically what this is going to do is anything within these lasers will be loaded as a chunk. So, why is this useful to us, basically? what this will uh, allow us to do is as we wander away from our village it'll actually continue to uh, keep the chunk loaded and uh, oh yeah over here <laughs> a creeper did blow up right next to me it didn't kill me I don't think I don't remember but it did destroy my bed and stuff but I did go and cut some wood as you can tell right here and uh, yeah so we also did install another new mod the um TF2 teleporter mod, and with that, I went and found a new village. That's far away, and we'll get to that in a second. I'm actually going to hide the lasers there, but um, yeah, so a combination between these chunks, I could go in between these two villages, and um, as I'm at the other one, this one will stay loaded, and as I'm at this one, the other one is loaded right now, theoretically, so they'll progress a lot faster, and um, yeah, we still are probably going to be focusing on these. I may get another chunk loader and put it over there to try and load those guys too, but uh, for the time being, I figured this one would suffice, and my home, so uh, we'll probably have a ton of food grow much faster i'd expand the farm a little bit and actually that is mostly done and as you probably could also tell from my image god damn it uh from my inventory i did also um actually i didn't realize i completely I, I don't know i i did i've totally forgot there was horses in 1.6.4 for some reason i i was confusing it i thought on, they were only in 1.7 there are totally horses in 1.6.4 so uh, clearly i don't know what i'm talking about when it comes to minecraft stuff like that um so i did i did spawn in a horse and a horse egg uh, or a saddle rather so we can use that and um the crafting table is over there for some reason i don't know why i'm gonna make another one because i'm too lazy to go over there and we can grab that and uh yeah so that's all fine and, and actually the other oh i didn't even finish that sentence i already jumped to the next one um uh what was i gonna say and uh, no, i forgot oh and also the other village is another one like this where it's surrounded by two other villages so it's like they're kind of like three villages in close proximity so i thought that was kind of cool um yeah, and all right, so we could even, you know, play with the diploma, diplo, diplo, the relations between the, oh, what the hell is this? It's a baby horse? Oh, God, can I ride it still? Oh, my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't have a lead or anything. Oh, uh, so now do we have to wait for it to grow up? But the chunk's going to stay loaded, so this guy's going to totally wander away. All right, we got to, sorry, horse, we're going to have to trap you a little bit here. I hope he doesn't hate me, but well now this is going to screw everything up because I thought I was going to be able to travel all quickly this episode. And yeah, sorry horse, we're going to have to trap you in this hole until uh, you grow up, so I, you won't mind it too much, I don't think. And also, I, as the creeper did explode and all that, I did actually get some sand from that, so we have a bit of sandstone that we can go trade with those other villages right there. But what I'm going to do first, right off the bat, before I show you the brand new village or villages, is um, let's go actually sell this wood and increase our relations and get some money in case we want to go try and buy anything with the other villages. So uh, you are still looking for some cooked bricks. Unfortunately, I cannot help you with that. So uh, here we go. Oh, first kind of, why is it giving me my achievement over again? I had that achievement already. I do not know. So, um, oh, you could sell sandstone too, but I don't want to. So yeah, I did chop down a bunch of trees just using uh, the tree cutter mod. I forget what it's called. And um, so we did get that, which is kind of nice. And um, yeah, so how much, how much did that... Uh, uh, oh, a regular visitor. Awesome. So uh, that'll allow us to... Oh, whoa, ho, 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 ho. When did you get to negative 30? Oh, those are the other villages. I did not realize that. No matter how... Wait, what? No matter how much you get from this family, it is never enough. Uh-oh, so some of these guys look like they are fighting. But, um, yeah, so it looks like these are the two other villages. Maybe we should work on slandering them. And, uh, yeah, so those are the other villages I did find. And, um, so they are decent. And do I try and praise them back up? I have five diplomatic points available. The only thing is they are so far apart. Like, I feel like they would never be able to do anything. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna slander this guy a bit more. And, um, uh, is that all my points? Yeah. So, um, it might have been smarter. You must have points of positive relation. Uh, Yeah. I kind of want to just, I want to slander that one, because they're in close proximity, I could have both the, the villages loaded at the same time, and it just makes things a bit, bit easier. 
So we could throw that in there. We could go run all the way over to this new village as uh, now we have to, we could have, I thought I was going to have a horse so it would be nice and quick, but now we have to, uh, you know, use our legs and sprint all the way there with our diminishing bread supplies. But we do have a decent amount of money. So as these villages hopefully start to uh, advance a little bit more, it's becoming nighttime. I better hurry back before the skeletons come out to kill me. Holy crap. How much did you guys, how many kids did these people make? Jesus. Wait, look at they have six kids. Didn't they start with one? I think they did. I don't know. So you guys still do want sandstone, right? Wow, you want a ridiculous amount of sandstone. So uh, yeah, we can sell you all of that and you will like me a bit more. So where's the uh, village leader, dude? That is right there. Okay, just kidding. Um, what news? Definitely. What news? Are you from the ocean? Oh, you said G. Hi. Um, all right. So they are giving them the resource. Where's the leader guy? All right. I am... I am not going to have a safe journey back at this rate, and, um, no, 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 wait, where's the other one, uh, Gomv, oh, they're back up to excellent, what the hell happened, I don't know, well, I guess we'll just slander this one instead, and, um, yeah, so negative 48, if we get them to negative 100, they will be enemies, but obviously, I don't know, I don't know what happened there, it looks like they boo boosted it back up, which kind of sucks, because, um, all that hard work and effort gone, but uh, we can travel back to our base really quickly, and again, luckily, th these chunk loader blocks are going to make life so much simpler, and um, oh, as you can see, there's a skeleton in there, want to be wary of that, and yeah, so we'll try and get back to here as quickly as possible, so hopefully no mobs spawn around us, our horsey is still doing fine in the, uh, whatchamacallit there, as you can see, a whole ton of creepers in the distance, hopefully I don't blow up my stuff, because uh, I don't have the resources to rebuild this all, so yeah, baby horse is just chilling in there, like a villain so is it time to uh finally go show you this new stuff i think it is so let's go we do have our all of our denier argents and uh hopefully we can go shopping a little bit so as you can see here we are to the new village and actually i don't even know this, this is a norman village right i think there's a bunch more so and there is the chunk loader block as well and uh yeah so i think these uh, guys yeah these are guys are a warring village wow you are tall as oh hell jesus oh you're oh i'm a stranger and okay hello uh, two, uh, okay, okay, hello, hello, <laughs> so, uh, they are all positive with them, but they are all really bad, and that's the one I made them really bad with, so, uh, yeah, we can sell stuff to you, or we can buy stuff from you, so, there's slab paths, um, all this other stuff I really don't want, and, uh, you don't have any of that, so what do you want, you want oak wood, I actually have one oak wood, I could tell you, and cobblestone, which I have three, Alright, so, <laughs> they do want to bridge, Aubridge, Aubridge, I don't know, how do you say that, um, but see, this is when the interesting part comes in, um, where I might be able to go back to the other villages and trade with them, so we have Goliath, oh, you need to at least favorite trader in this village to hire this, oh yeah, I forgot you could hire guys too, I always forgot about that part. But yeah, I didn't really get a chance to explore all that much over here, so let's see what is going on. And uh, what are they all doing over here? They all, they're a chatting session, healing up a little bit, they're giving hugs or something to uh, boost each other's morale. And, um, but yeah, so I guess this is a Normanville, I'm going to get that wrong and I'm going to sound stupid, but that is the, at least one part of it. It's a, definitely a military village, so that's kind of interesting. As we increase our relationship, though, we could potentially go, um... We could try and slander these guys against each other because I feel like the military village would be pretty interesting to see get in a war with one of these other villages. And then we could kind of loot the other other village, um, which sounds horrible, but hey, who cares? So, um, yeah, we can do that, hopefully. And let's see, what are these guys doing? So, uh, they're all chatting away. This is a, another village right here. So, this they do want the same thing. So, they want wood and oak wood. Actually, I could give you some wood. I could top you off in that sense. Oh, I could give you oak wood as well. And, uh, oh, wait, wood any, oh, they want, okay, I see, so, um, yeah, so this looks like another village, you guys are, uh, you're really small, yeah, they have a really good, or not really good, but decent defense, the other guys, I didn't actually remember to look at their military stats, which probably would have made a lot of sense, because they are a military village, oh well, and actually, I don't know if I could teleport with a horse, I didn't, I was gonna check that, but then the horse was a baby, and uh, I was unable to, but yeah, I'm not sure if I can do that, so I'm gonna have to find that out, I don't know where the third one is, uh, if I hit V, uh, active, 25 meters to the east, so, okay, that's not the east, uh, northwest, 24 me okay so that's that one oh no so i was going in the right way so that's the north right is this north 
No, it says... Oh, oh, wait, so that's that one. To the north. Wait, so this... What the hell is north? This? Oh, this is north. Alright, so there... Yeah, it looks like there's another... Oh, there it is. So yeah, yet another village over here. Wow, this place is popping. And uh, we can chop down a tree really quickly just to show the strength and amazingness of... of uh, tree capitator because i don't know uh, yeah i did show you guys this in the last episode but look at that is that not beautiful and we could even get an apple from that trade so that's awesome for us actually i'm not going to eat that yet because uh we have a little bit more hunger to depreciate first and uh yeah so relies visitor list goods traded oh so this looks like that's their trading thing there is an apple right there so look at that stacking the apples and a third apple wow that's that's <laughs> that's actually kind of funny and uh yeah so let's see this looks like the village center here we can just jump in through the window no big deal, no big deal, and you again are a very, very small village, and um, see, I might want to place another thingy here, just so these guys could all, this village can develop as well as the other ones, so I think I'm going to do that, and um, I, there's no way I would ever come close to getting enough points to, wait, where's the lady to trade with me, no, I was like, <laughs> what is she doing, why is she just standing there, and um, yeah, because there's no way I would get enough to do that so i'm gonna go into creative really fast and uh, we can do that so let's see chunk loader and i, I did say i spawned all the stuff in right I, I think that was kind of a a given a little bit so um i'm actually just why don't I, i'll just place it right under here and um because i don't think they ever build under this because i don't i think they would theoretically replace this so um yeah we could do that we could show the lasers to see how far it goes out as we fly up a little bit oh yeah so that's that's way more than enough room it's actually half loading the other village oh my god what is that oh there's another village over there so what if we just make this oh jesus what if we just make this thing massive so what if we just go how many chunks can you go 361 chunks i'm worried this is the only thing is this is taxing my computer with each additional chunk we load so i'm just worried we'll load too many chunks i don't know but um all right so that seems like it will suffice um actually i'll go one more Oh, I can't. Oh, God. That is already maxed out. So, uh, oh, uh, and then we could go slash GM again. And if you're wondering how I'm doing that, um, so I actually just technically got one piece, one plank. So, yeah, I'm cheating. No big deal. And, oh, my God, there's a bunch of horse. Boo, yeah. Boo, mother fudging, yeah. So we keep our saddle with us. Thank God for that. And now we can get a horse of our own. That guy, like, that, that's an awesome looking horse. And, um, uh, oh, do I have to ride you first? Yeah. So we'll try and tame this guy, and um, yeah, this guy does look quite awesome, so hopefully we can tame him relatively easily, and uh, then we can go have easy, easy transportation. Um, I'm going to want to probably, depending on how often I come here, I'm probably going to want to build a bridge to that village, because that one actually looks cool. Oh, oh, there you go. So he does love us now, and um, I don't have anything else, so we could throw our saddle on him quickly, and hopefully he's teleportable, and oh god, oh god, this is going to be pain in the butt, pain in the butt. Please don't drown. Oh, God, no, please don't drown. <laughs> I need that saddle back if you drown, man. Um, all right, all right, so he seems to be fine, and nope. Okay, so we'll just try and push him over here. Yeah, again, this is why I kind of wanted, we need a bridge over here a little bit, kind of. And all right, so another new village, and uh, this, yeah, this, one, this is another, a, th a fourth village in a close proximity, so that's kind of cool. So you are a, you're another, you're actually slightly bigger than the other two, and um, hello. So you're another Norman type village, right? You you are actually Norman, yeah. So you are a Norman village. We can go explore a little bit more. This one's actually in the snow, which is kind of interesting. And um, yeah, so it looks like these villages probably will end up start exporting and trading and all that magicness. And I, I actually I think I'm gonna build a bridge really fast because it's gonna be really annoying to have to because I imagine I'm gonna want to cross this little lake thingy more often than not. So, building a bridge, probably a worthwhile investment. Probably. We'll find out. And am I going to have enough wood for the bridge is the real question. And it looks like I will barely, I think. Yeah, I should I should be fine. Right? I mean, it's not the prettiest bridge, but it gets the job done. So, we could actually throw in our illegally spawned item right there. Uh, the one plank we did get from that. And, alright, so there's my horsey. I don't know what you name this guy. Obviously, we don't have a name tag just yet. So, uh, he has no official name just yet. Oh, did I leave that thing on? Crap. Uh, I meant to turn that off. Oh, so then it probably isn't loading that village because I did not even see it. It does it not go down. Oh, crap. I thought it went down. Um, so where is that? That's this block. Uh, oh, no. This block. 
Oh, she, she's like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'll put it back, don't worry. And, all right, so, now let's go find Spots the Horse, and uh, we can go back to our original village, and we'll check how this is going, and we'll even go check on this village a little bit as well. Oh, wait, am I lost? No, it's right over here, right? Yeah, all right, just making sure. So, this guy, actually, they, they seem to be a little bit more stone-oriented, um... Unless I'm completely wrong in that assumption, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like the, they, this village has a lot more stone stuff, and while well, the other one has less. So come on, teleport with the horse, please. Oh, it worked! I think. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna go into creative. Oh no, maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Uh. Um, oh, oh god, he's just, he's teleporting instantly. Remember this happened to someone before. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Alright, um, how are we gonna solve this? Uh, we could go like this, I think. Right? No? Oh, I'm still in creative, oops. <laughs> um, so we could go to slash GM. I'm not sure what happened there. So, oh, it looks like he finally got pushed off. And, uh, where'd he go? Um, horsey? Horsey? Well. On that note, <laughs> I guess he got, he got, he got trapped in the middle world somewhere? I'm not really sure. Our baby horse is actually, oh no, he's right here! What the hell? I, I, you know what? Not gonna question it. Not gonna question it at all. So we'll jump on our horse, and then uh, as it becomes nighttime, we'll, we'll go take a little a gander at our villages one final time. And, um, oh, 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 easy there, babe, easy there. So, um, come on, son, look at that, look at that beautiful sunset. Do, 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 all right, so, um, actually, you know what, maybe we should just make that the thumbnail. Maybe, maybe, maybe this should just be the thumbnail for the video. I think so. So, uh, if we get sleep, though, I mean, you, you know, you're taking your sweet time. So, we, now we actually do have two horses. I think definitely the next thing on our list of things to do is after we get one of these villages to super duper love us, we should probably try and get, uh, some suitable housing. So, yeah, theoretically, all this stuff should have stayed growing, and it looks like it did, so that's awesome. And, um, that's assuming the chunk loader works. Good thing I didn't fall in that hole. That would have been bad. And a good thing I didn't hit that cactus. That would have been even worse. And, um, definitely once we, uh, get a little- Hello! Hi! Hey, little guy! Hey! Hey! Alright, so, uh, the, I think they- these guys just mass produce. Jesus, they have- Oh, uh, well, I guess they only have two kids, but I feel like they've had- they have a lot. And, um, yeah, so we're not gonna be able to- Oh, no, we do have more points. How do we get more points? Do we get five a day? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wait. No, because it- look, it got reset. Hmm. Oh, we can continue to slander that one. That didn't get reset, but uh, these ones got reset. I don't know. That's weird. And uh, you could sell me sugar cane now, so that's kind of cool. And you could sell me a brick mold and cooked brick. So can I sell you the cooked bricks back? For, like, not, I I'll lose money, but I'll gain respect. Right? Yeah, I just bought all your cooked bricks. I could sell them all back to you, and you love me more. Theoretically, right? I mean, this is this is an easy way to lose money, but isn't this theoretically a really good way to gain respect, right? I mean, we'll find out in a second. We'll see if they like me any more than they did five minutes ago, but I'm not sure if we're really losing one denier argent every time I did that. So uh, let's go see, because that would have been like nine million uh, cooked bricks I just sold them, so... Finding exploits in Millionaire, I feel like it's just all I do. Oh, see, look, it did work. Oh, wait, no, this is, we have a long time now, and you have been trusted one of the spite never coming few, uh, I originally thought you were a simple man from another nation that likes us and has been carried here the fateful day where the earth shook. We have found ourselves in this strange land where the seasons never change, the rivers do not flow. Someone like the strange men in the stone pyramids, white-faced men skilled in the foraging of iron. But you have observed you long, and you are different. You seem to have no memory. Okay, uh, can we get to cut to the point now? I want to try to expect you under yourself in a strange room by new wanderers in. Tall and strong trees for shelter. When you meet him, convey with him thanks for the wisdom he shared with me. Wait, what? I have heard you can help with me. My old guru, Sandu Vidya. I have not seen him in many years, but I know he wanders in the forest, choosing the tall trees for shelter. When you meet him, convey him my thanks and wisdom he shared with me. 
Oh, so we got a little quest right there. I believe if we hit M, we uh, we do get to do that. And current quests. So quest the Sadu not started. Uh, uh, find the Sadu in a small tree in a forest. When you have met him, say the pond of. I think I know where that guy is. Because remember how I said I found this weird guy? <laughs> it sounds horrible when I say it out loud. I found this guy in a little treehouse hut as I was trying to find these villages over there. So that is probably him, right? I mean, how many weird guys are there in huts and over there? So we'll make another little bridge. Oh, crap. And um, we can go travel across it as such. And uh, we got to get Spots the pony. All right, Spots, come on. Stop, uh, stop, stop jerking off in the corner over here and um, all right so we can go on the bridge please don't fall in the water spots careful 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 all right that was a close one but uh, we are fine so we can climb up the mountain and you got to be careful not to fall down there is an ocelot right there please don't eat me we are friends oh my god look at all the ocelots jesus but uh, yeah so let's see if we can't find this guy and uh, hopefully we don't get lost but now we should be we kind of we have a pretty good idea of what the terrain is like around here so that should be fine and um yeah I, I remember him he was i i it was right around where i entered the forest and i just i found this weird guy in a little hut and he was it wasn't like a village it was just this guy chilling in this little hut and i was just like uh i and i could trade with okay hello there is a hole there <laughs> and um yeah so i think it was right at the start of the forest and it wasn't if you hit v it didn't pop up like you know how if you hit v all the v local villages will pop up it did not appear in that from that so that could uh be helping yeah i remember the lava so he's got to be around here somewhere right um it was just like this little hut i remember seeing it hmm was that it right there i don't know i'm, I'm worried i don't want to lose it or not be able to find it again because i remember it was right over here maybe we should uh take a Take off, jump off spots really fast and just kind of get an aerial look. Where the hell was it? Yeah, I know it's right over here. I don't know. Um, hmm. I, it was, it was a little, yeah, it was like, it was, it wasn't, um, a tall tree either. So, um, I feel like spots is not helping us on this journey though. Maybe it was on this side more. Um, I, I don't know. This is such an in-depth forest. I don't want to, because I forget I spawned. I did not, I don't think I spawned in the, oh, did I spawn in the forest? I forget now. Okay. This is like a couple days ago. I made the world. So I, it's not, it's, you know, a distant memory. Oh, there's some iron in there. I should go hit that up after, uh, I finish here and let's see. Yeah. Cause we actually don't have any iron tools and an iron ax really would help with the wood collection and it's not popping up on there. Right. So let's imagine I never found that little hut. I mean, that would make it damn near impossible for me to find this guy. And, hmm. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, okay. No more of that, please. And, um, I don't see him. Uh, I, I definitely, he was definitely in the forest. That I could say with absolute confidence. Um, how'd I get over here? How the hell did I get over here without crossing the water? Oh, right here. Um, all right. So, uh, we, yeah, yeah, as you can see, Spots is like, psh, psh, psh. he's uh, exhaling a little bit there. And all right, so how what 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 would be the logical route for me to take? Alright, we're back to lava here, and I thought it was right around here because I rem I remember passing the lava. I remember I spawned, and I think I went this way. And uh, there's a little mine right there. We should actually, you know what? Swats don't go anywhere. Oh, oh god, I did not realize there was such a big drop. We're gonna go we're gonna go mine a little. I know you guys didn't want to see any of this, but hey, it's it's we're contributing to the village, and we gotta we gotta build some weapons for the coming village wars that we have been. Um, uh, anticipating? No, we've been not emancipating. We've been enticing. Uh, we've been trying to cause a war. We've been pro pro tag. I don't. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. But um, yeah. So we have been trying to cause a war for quite a few episodes. Wow, that turned to grass right away. Wait, why had it turned to grass? Don't you need an adjacent grass block? Oh, don't want to forget our iron. We did work hard for that iron. We mined our butts off. And oh god, I don't have this weapon. I have this axe, but see, this is why damage indicators is useful. Oh no. Oh mother budger and um all right so we can mine this uh or at least the remainder of this and um actually it looks like there's a little bit more iron over there so but i see I, actually yeah how about this i'll uh, i'll go i'll go look for that guy and if i find him that'll be the start of next episode so i do thank you all for watching i do hope you enjoyed i'll go we'll get some nice iron for next episode and uh, yeah all kinds of goodies coming in the future so i thank you for watching i just said that
uh, again, so if you guys do want to see anything in the series or me not do anything in the series, please let me know by leaving it in the comments below. I have been reading those pretty actively, so uh, there's that. Our pickaxe is about to break, and uh, that is all for this episode. Later.